grand final, which was held about 20 minutes after the senior event. The competitors ready for the start now of the junior Ironman race, and away they go. Grant Kenny's had a, a break of about uh, 20 minutes in all, that's all. It's Grant Kenny from Alexandra Headlands. His main rival will be Jamie Kearsley from City of Perth, Western Australia. We have Scott Wooden from Southport, South Australia. Russell Cooper from Cronulla, New South Wales. Ian Hodgson of Southport, South Australia. Tim Barrett from Lowhead, Tasmania. Brad Campion from City of Perth. Uh, Brett Woodger from Carumban in Queensland. David Pullinger from Southport, Queensland. Craig Bennett from Coogee, New South Wales. Peter Oburn from Freshwater, New South Wales. Les Miller from Bulleye, New South Wales. And Mark Wood from Swansea, Belmont in New South Wales. Some of the competitors having a little difficulty going across that bank as they proceed out to the turning boy in the first leg of the junior Ironman. To be very interesting, as Norman has said, to see how the juniors go in this after a 20-minute break from the uh, grueling in the senior Ironman, uh, which was held just a little while ago. But as the uh, competitors get up to the boys, it's a great tussle uh, between them all as they jockey for positions uh, on the return back to the beach. It does appear that it's Kearsley from uh, City of Perth, who is around the boys very, very strongly and on his way back to, the, no, it looks like Wooten. Uh, there, a little further back to uh, the other competitors. In the middle, we see uh, Bennett of Kuji and coming through very nicely also. But there's a whole team of competitors there returning back to the beach to get the assistance of the waves as these competitors come in. And we can see Grant Kenny there back in about 6th or 7th place at the present time, uh, backing up to try and make this two in a row, and let's, let's work it out. He's exactly in 7th place at the present time. The leading competitors now are coming through to the beach. A little difficulty on the break. We've got to remember this is the first leg of the three-stage race in this junior Ironman, and there's the leading competitor on the beach at the moment. It looks like uh, Wooten of, uh, of uh, Southport in uh, South Australia is running very closely there and uh, through there very nicely. Coming into second place is uh, the competitor in the green and gold cap there. It appears to be blue and gold cap. Behind him we have a whole host of competitors coming through with Cronulla and uh, Kenny of uh, Alexander Headlands is there also. But there's the competitors going into the water for the second leg of the Ironman. And Kenny, in the last 20 metres of that uh, ski section into the swim, has now gone from 7th to 3rd place. Well, we saw how he swam in the, uh, in the Johnson Wax Senior Ironman. Let's uh, see how he can come up after that uh, great effort and uh, go into the swimming leg of this race. The competitors are now into the second leg of the Junior Ironman. Now, as we look from our high camera, you see that it's Kenny now in the yellow caps moving to the second place. And looking at the styles of those two swimmers, John, it does appear that um, Grant Kenny is a better swimmer. And he's making up ground here pretty quickly. Yes, of course, we saw it uh, in there uh, in the Interstate Championships for how the uh, Tasmanian Tim Barra from Lowhead had gone, and he uh, swam very, very strongly, and uh, he's well placed there also. So it's a strong lineup of competitors as they go out in the second leg of the uh, Junior Ironman. They're at the bank uh, where we saw the difficulty before, and of course, that's the advantage on the return back to the beach. But all those competitors now are using the bottom to go across this broken water, and they're going up and down. But at the moment, uh, there's nothing separating any of the leaders. Grant Kenny is right up there with them, as is Barrett from uh, Lowhead in Victoria. Kearsley, a city of Perth, is right up there. There's nothing separating any of the swimmers as they continue out in the second leg of the junior Ironman. three or four swimmers uh, together they're going to the first turning boy there's nothing at all between them and it's a very very close race in fact similar to the very good swimming section we saw in the senior event yes the three competitors that are out there is city of perth that's kearsley of city of perth kenny of alexander headlands and of course we have the competitor from cronulla russell cooper all those uh, competitors are swimming very very strongly they're around the boy now and they're uh, coming back for the second leg of the race at the moment it's kearsley of City of Perth in front, then followed by Cooper of Cronulla, then Kenny of Alexander Headlands. Now, Kearsley, of course, is the star Western Australian surfer who won eight events in the Western Australian Championship and showed us his good class by winning the Junior Surf Championship, the interstate event, very easily on Friday. Yes, and uh, Kearsley was a starter in the senior. He's backing up here in the junior, and it's interesting to see the position of where he is. A lot of tactics by the competitors as they return back to the beach. They're coming into the area now where they can get an advantage on the return back and each one of those competitors will be looking for that advantage just to take that little bit of a rest 
that gives them the waves. They're not too difficult to ride, giving it about a 10 minute break, 10 yard break. Well, here's some interesting waves coming up to, to see who can get. The first to have a go at it will be the competitor there from Cronulla. Look at the depth of the water. There's three competitors on it. Kenny is one of them. Then we have Cronulla on the other side. We also had Lowhead and uh, in front at the moment is still Kearsley of City of Perth. All those competitors are coming in very, very strong as they return back to the uh, beach in this second leg of the junior Ironman. The battle of the two leaders as they return through is the one on the left is uh, Jamie Kearsley of uh, City of Perth. The one on the right, Grant Kenny, Alexander Headland. Now the tactics come as these two great competitors come close to the beach to try and get a, a little break as they come. A Kenny pushing hard for that wave, got the best out of the run, couldn't get over the top of it. But most certainly, uh, there we see Kearsley standing, going for it too. Kearsley will miss it and Kenny picks it up. So in the end of the second stage of this uh, race, uh, the best position on the beach would be Kearsley. Kenny's up with him, nothing over. Now we saw the change over on the board when we had a look at it in a senior. Can they get a good change over this time? Look at the positions on the beach and have a look at it when they get into the water to see how the broken water goes. Cooper of Cronulla in third place. Well, that interesting that time, they're right beside each other, so no advantage at all. And it's um, Kenny now who's first to get onto his board. Kenny and Kearsley, these two great juniors, and it's a race in two. Well, an even break by all the competitors off the beach. Just going over that shop. Uh, Kearsley just having the best of it. No, it's Kenny on the red board having the best of that. Behind him, Kearsley, then Cooper of Cronulla, going over to the uh, broken water. Now, a few problems could exist for these competitors as they get to the broken water. We see Kenny going through that and using his body in his arms as he goes through that broken water, realising he's got to be the first competitor to have a chance when he goes around those boys to return back to the beach. It's Grant Kenny, Alexander Headlands, in front of James, Jamie Kearsley of City of Perth, Western Australia. Now here's a problem for both competitors, there's a broken wave out there in front of them. Kenny just relaxing to go through it to make sure he has no upset on the board. The thing he doesn't want to do is lose that craft at the moment. There's nothing separating these competitors as they return to the boy on what is the final leg of the Junior Ironman Championship. It's Grant Kenny of Alexander Headlands coming up to the boy. Swimming boys now, just going up to the swimming boys now, paddling out to the Big boy we see out there, the orange boy, waiting for the turn of this first boy in this board section of the race. Behind him, we have Jamie Kearsley, City of Perth, Western Australia, and behind him, Russell Cooper, Cronulla, New South Wales. And Cooper, in fact, in third place, seems to have made up a fair bit of ground on the first two, but here's Kenny in front, and the thousands of people here at Maroochydore, and of course all of you watching on television right around Australia, will realise that this is the greatest performance in the history of the Ironman event if this young man can win this race. And he's in front, and he turns the last boy. We must remember, uh, the junior has never won this, the senior Ironman championship, and Kenny has just successfully won that. That's the Johnson Ironman's Wake Championship of Australia. And here he is, returning back to the beach, picking up this little chop that gives him a tremendous advantage. He's done it again. He's just got to hold this through to the beach, and he should have the greatest uh, ovation of any competitor we've seen in surfing ever. Looking around to see it quite comfortably, if you could have the view that we're watching and the smile on his face, as he holds this wave as far as he possibly can. We heard him discuss the uh, gutter as he returns back to the beach. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this our commentary is going over the public address, and for all of you here at Maroochydore, let's give this young man from Queensland the ovation he deserves, the winner of both the Open and Junior Ironman, Grant Kenny from Alexandra Headlands in Queensland. There he is, the greatest effort ever in surfing history. Grant Kenny, Alexander Headlands, winner of the Johnson Wax Ironman Championship of Australia, followed immediately by the Junior Ironman Championship of Australia. A feat never done before. Great interest in second place has been a change with the waves at Southport moving up into second place. And it's a great race for third place between Cooper of uh, Cronulla and Kearsley of City Perth. It's Southport into second, Cronulla into third place. So those places look like Grand Canyon of uh, Alexander Headlands first. Either Dave Pullinger of Southport, Queensland second, and Jane. And we'll have to wait the uh, places for the judges as we've just lost those at the moment, but most certainly Grand Canyon, Alexander Headlands.